Hi, it's Cayman Reynolds. Whew. It has been a crazy day. This isn't all the nukes right here. We've got a you know, little bit down in here in the bed of the truck. I've got to load double this and duct tape these. You can see the little Tennessee certified stickers on them and all that kind of stuff. And It's going to get cool tonight, but it shouldn't be too bad. But it is going to rain tomorrow when people are coming and picking them up and some of you are probably going to watch this and then uh, be like yeah I picked up some of those bees or whatever who knows which one um, you know what we can open some of these hey check this out you can actually walk on these things if you uh, walk on like two at a time I don't really suggest it these are the easy nuke boxes and a lot of people ask me why I use them they're made by the Jester Bee Company I like them for multiple reasons the cardboard, the wax coated cardboard nukes are too labor intensive. And then on top of that, they don't last that long in the field. These things can last a long time. These are brand new. Um, I think they're really handy for just throwing a swarm into if it's not too big. You can even put fill up one box and then fill up another. And they have pretty good ventilation. I th you know, they have ventilation on the, uh, well, let's go over here. They got ventilation on the sides over here, on the other side. They have ventilation in the fronts and the backs, which is really nice. Let's open a couple of these up and see what we have. Someone's going to be happy with that. Someone's going to be happy with that. That one's pretty good too. You can see how we've got them spaced out a little bit though, so they can get a little bit more ventilation. Pretty good looking nukes. It's taken a lot of work to get them like this. A lot of work. I'll just pick a random one. Ooh, that bee's out to get me. Sorry, I know it's been a rough day for you guys too. Look at that. These things are gonna grow. When you purchase nukes, you need to be getting bees. You, you need to be getting several bees. Uh, none of those uh, nukes that you get from some of these guys. and you know, They say five frame nuke and there's like three frames worth of bees. Oh no. You have to watch it though because nukes this strong, it doesn't matter if they have these great ventilated boxes. If it's hot, and especially if they can't get out, they are going to overheat in these things. So my recommendation, anyone who's getting these things from us either today or today, tomorrow or Saturday or further on down the road on another pickup, then you want to get them home and ideally just go ahead and put them in their boxes. Um, it doesn't take that long. One of the things that you need to do is what, say you open this right here. The first frame you're going to pull is going to be this one over here. You have this right here. You can pull it out. Whoops. Sorry. You can bend that on out, making sure that you don't crush a bunch of bees or the queen. It's, a, it's amazing how many times you'll find the queen on the outer frame, whether it's that one or this one, because she's already filled up everything in between. Now, I wouldn't expect five frames of brood in each one of these because that's not going to happen. Some of them will possibly have that, um, but more often than not, you're looking at three to four frames of brood in these, and you'll find one of the frames will probably need to be still drawn partially. You know, it'll probably be about 70% drawn. And it, this is actually pretty good because you want the bees in the drawing mode already, and also at the same time, you don't want them uh, swarming, that kind of stuff. I guess I could flip this thing around. I think that'll work. I got my veil on. They have, they've already tagged me, so oh, I forgot I don't have a shirt on. <laughs> oh, Laurel's gonna kill me. Uh, what'll be the first time? Poor girl, I have worked her so much today, and now she's in there making dinner, and it's probably not gonna be done till after 10. Of course, you gotta take care of the kids, 
and then we've got to load up more get a bunch of other stuff and be down at the pickup location by 8 a.m. yeah we're crazy anyways I just wanted to share with you a little bit of what's going on thanks everyone who's watched our videos you know maybe this hasn't been the greatest honey year and it doesn't look like it's going to be at all um, but we just might sell more nucleus colonies to offset that so thanks for watching our videos and thanks everyone for just your support in every little way that you have